Rita's score is 13 more than four times Milan's score. If we let S represent Milan's score, we want to write an expression for Rita's score. So first we're letting Milan's score equal S. We want an expression for Rita's score. And we're told that Rita's score is 13 more than four times Milan's score, or 13 more than four times S. To help us write this, it's often helpful to take a look at this in the reverse order, meaning we'll first deal with four times Milan's score, and then we'll deal with the 13 more. Well, four times Milan's score, or four times S, would just be 4S. So 4S represents four times Milan's score, but we want 13 more than four times, so our expression for Rita's score is going to be 4S plus 13. So this is the expression that we're looking for. Let's take a look at a second example. Ted's debt is 15 less than half of Mike's debt. If we let X represent Mike's debt, we want to write an expression for Ted's debt. So we'll start by defining Mike's debt is equal to X dollars. We want an expression for Ted's debt. which again is 15 less than half of Mike's debt. Again, it's going to be helpful if we look at this in the reverse order, meaning we'll first write an expression for half of Mike's debt, and then we'll deal with the 15 less. So to find half of Mike's debt, or half of X, there are two ways of doing this. We could multiply X by one half, or divide X by two. So if we have X and we divide by two, this is, this is going to give us half of Mike's debt, but Ted's debt is 15 less than half of Mike's debt. So from this expression, we need to subtract 15. And as I mentioned before, instead of having x divided by two, we could use the expression one half x minus 15. These two expressions would be equivalent, both expressing 15 less than half of Mike's debt when Mike's debt is equal to x. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.